Hello and welcome to this video. This video is about Process Explorer, which is part of the SysInternal suite by Mark Rusinovich. Um, he is very, very famous in the Microsoft world. He basically has been writing books and literally knows Windows inside out. Um, he's been writing it for years and he developed this suite of tools that basically can diagnose problems with your computer, try and find viruses, make it more efficient, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to Google. Okay, I'll just bring up that and type in SysInternal Suite. You should get a Microsoft link over there. Once that's done, you click download. This will download, choose where you want to download it. We have downloaded it to the desktop and it's a zip file. Okay, I'll just close that. Here's a zip file. What we then need to do is extract all. Choose the location where you want to extract it. We've extracted it to the desktop. And then we want to basically go to Process Explorer 64. You can go to the 32-bit version. Okay, and we advise you to run as administrator this at all times. You'll be able to run it. Now, it's all free. There are no charges. You will be seeing over here how this tool works. Okay, you've basically got processes, the list of processes and its internal tree, its CPU usage, how many bytes it's currently using, and basically how many its memory that has been allocated for it. Okay, these are the color codes. Um, you can see new objects, basically things that have recently been opened, um, things that have been shut down, and then the purple one is something to look out for, okay? This is a packed process, which could mean it's a virus, malware, etc. It doesn't necessarily mean it, but it could be, because these are packed. They could be encrypted, they could be completely compressed within it, and the Process Explorer is unable to get all the details of it. Okay, so we'll just cancel that. If you did ever want to get that, you just go to Options and then Configure Colors, that would pop up. So, now we've got it and we had Chrome. First thing I'll speak about is a lovely thing. Let's assume your computer is very slow, it's running very slow and almost it's kind of like um, in a frozen state. Let's assume it's Chrome or Edge or whatever process is taking up maximum CPU. Let's go over here and let's suspend it. So this is brilliant. It's paused Chrome. So now that program is paused. And as you can see, I cannot even bring it back up. Okay. So it's been suspended which is very, very useful for you. Then you can go off and diagnose Chrome, see if there's any issues, etc. I'll just resume it just to prove it. And there you go. It's brought Chrome back up. Another great thing about this is you right click over here and you can check virus total. Okay, to see if that process is a known virus. Okay, it submits the hash and then it'll get back some information soon. And as you can see, it's got zero. So this Chrome has not been recognized as a virus f by 64 virus companies. If you go to Virus Total, you'll check their website out and basically they scan, you can upload files and scan and it uses about 64 different virus, antivirus makers to check. Okay, so good. So we know our Chrome is not infected, this process. Okay, the hash, as you see, is completely clean. Another thing is you might want to, and this is good for gamers, as they seem to like it. 
Okay, let's set priority. Okay, we can go all the way from idle slowing a process down to really slow backgrounding it. As you can see, it's in the background currently below normal, normal, above normal, high. Okay, we don't suggest real time because it can freeze your system and can like lock it up. So many, many people will choose high. And this, many gamers have experienced massive increases in frame rates, etc. Okay, your game is working a lot better. So this is also very useful. You will see that we have all these little monitors at the top. Okay, this is a CPU. Currently, we're running at 8%. Okay, you've got system commits. You've got physical memory. You've got input output. You have the disk, disk usage. So you'll be able to see, and as you can see over here, it's showing what's happening. Okay, this is our graphics card, GPU. And this is the network. So you can see and monitor all these things. Another great thing about this is, for example, we look over here and we've got a process, okay, management agent host, okay, it's got a process ID, memory, how much it's using, but it doesn't have a description, it doesn't say who it's made by. So what we can do is do a search online to see what exactly it is. Now we'll open up Google and as you can see management agent host.exe it seems to be something to do with our VMware program. Okay but you could go through a lot of information very quickly you're able to search online, check for viruses, etc. Let's do a virus check on this. Okay, hash submitted. Zero, so it's clear. We've also seen that it's from our VMware that we're using. And another great thing is we can make all these CPU, etc., 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 network all these come up in our tray so let's make them so let's put for example we've got our CPU let's go to network okay so I've got my network over there and we could put in uh, let's go for disk yep all right, so now in our tray we've got all these lovely little things. If you want, you can bring them down over here and then you can monitor them as they're happening. Okay, so you can see the CPU usage is 16%. Okay, so now let's assume you want to get rid of Task Manager, okay? which I'll just show you over here, Task Manager. And this is okay, it's not that great, but you like this instead. So we're in the 64-bit version, so you would then replace Task Manager. Now if I click, I'll shut this down, and I'll just do Task, open that up, and you'll see it opens uh, Process Explorer. Now, the only thing is, if you want to go back to the original Task Manager, you have to open up the 32-bit version and do it that way. So the one above it, which is the 32-bit, run as administrator, click yes, and then options, replace task manager and I'll just do that for good measure get rid of that and now let's type task manager and we've got our original task manager back so if this video has helped please give us a like and also subscribe so 
If this video has helped, please give us a like and also subscribe. Thank you for watching.